Let's talk about some of the components of the gas side of the draft system. So we've got a few things hanging on the side of this keg box here. First of all, we've got our gas cylinder. This is CO2 under high pressure in the cylinder. And then hanging on this cylinder is our primary regulator. Coming off the primary regulator is a secondary regulator. So the function of the primary regulator is to take the extremely high pressure that we have inside the tank and reducing it to down to something that we can actually use. So inside this tank, you might find close to 1,000 PSI inside that vessel, and that's way too high for us to do anything with. So this regulator takes that pressure down. We've got two gauges here. The one on the left goes all the way up to 3,000. So this is the pressure that's inside the tank. Right now, it's reading right about 800 or 900 PSI inside the tank. So we've got a pretty full tank here. And then the top gauge is what we're regulating it down to. So right now we're at about 28 PSI, and that's pretty high. That's not what we're gonna actually use on our keg, but this is feeding into our secondary regulator. And this is where we're dialing in the pressure that actually goes onto the keg. So in this case, we've got about 14 PSI dialed in on this regulator, and then the outlet coming out of the bottom goes in to the keg box and connects to the coupler. So we usually have a higher pressure on our primary regulator feeding one and oftentimes more than one secondary regulator. The reason why this pressure is higher than this pressure is because if we have multiple secondary regulators, we're, we're sure that we have enough supply to feed all of these regulators during periods of high demand. So these all are outfitted with uh, check valves, so the gas can't back up the opposite direction and shut off valves so we can turn it off. So this would be off and that's on. Same with this one over here. So that's a little bit about the gas system of your draft system.